states of matter. Picture this. It is a hot summer day, and you are drinking a tall, icy glass of soda. Have you ever wondered about the differences between the ice, the soda, and the carbonated bubbles that make the drink fizzy? Today, we are going to learn about something called states of matter and ask you questions along the way. Let's get started with some basics. Matter is anything that has mass, volume, and takes up space. Everything in the universe is made of matter, even humans. When we talk about the states of matter, we mean the different forms in which matter can exist. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass, volume, and takes up space. The Earth's three most common states of matter are as follows. Solid, liquid, and gas. Each state has a different molecular structure that differentiates one from the other. Let's take another look at your glass of soda. The ice cubes are a solid, the soda is a liquid, and the carbonation bubbles are a gas. What are the three most common states of matter? Solid, liquid, and gas. Solids have particles that are tightly bonded and vibrate around fixed axes. They have a definite shape and volume. Liquids have particles that are attracted to each other but are not bonded as tightly. They are free to move over each other. Liquids also take the shape of the container they are in and have a definite volume. Gases have loosely bonded particles that move in a random motion with little or no attraction to each other. They have no definite shape or volume. Which state of matter has particles that are loosely bonded with no definite shape or volume? Gas. Water is kind of special. Can you guess why? The molecular properties of water allow it to exist in all three states of matter. It is the only thing on Earth that can do so naturally. Water is the product of two hydrogen atoms attaching themselves to one oxygen atom. That is why we call it H2O. In nature, the state of water changes constantly because of temperature. In its most common form, water is a liquid, but it can freeze into ice or snow, or change into a gas in the form of condensation or water vapor. Remember, even though water can change its states, its molecular properties remain unchanged. It is H2O as a liquid, solid, and gas. What is the only thing on Earth that can exist naturally in all three states of matter? Water, or H2O. Let's demonstrate the properties of matter together. We have placed a balloon over the opening of a soda bottle and are now going to give it a little shake. Here's what it looks like right after. Here's what it looks like after five minutes. And here's what it looks like after 10 minutes. What did you observe? What do you think made the balloon expand? Gas. Now, we are going to tip the soda into the balloon, tie it off, and freeze it. What state of matter is the soda now? It's a solid. What happens if you leave the balloon out on the counter for a while? Now the soda has melted back into a liquid state. What do you observe? And what does this teach you about the states of matter? Thanks for learning with us. See you next time.
Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.